This short help video will take you step by step on how to create your own custom library flyer using our online library flyer generator. The first thing that I want to make note of is if you are on a PC, a Windows based PC and you're using Firefox, or if you're on a Mac using Safari, these particular combinations are not supported at this time. All other browsers and computer combinations will work. The first thing you want to do when you get to this page is you'll notice that there are four links. The four links represent the libraries that we currently have templates for. For example, I'll click on North Las Vegas Library and it'll pull up six options that you have available to you at this time. All are branded to North Las Vegas Library. If you'll notice on the far right is that there are two different kinds. One is an educational workshop and the other is a job ready workshop. They're both branded to North Las Vegas Library. There's the logo. And then if you come over here, you'll notice that PETA and North Vegas Library are represented here in both configurations. And then you'll also notice the Las Vegas Urban League and North Las Vegas Library. By clicking on the back button, we can go back to the main menu here and we can take a look at Henderson Library and you'll find the same thing. We have templates representing job ready workshop and educational workshops and the configurations start with Henderson Libraries with their logo and then also with PETA and Henderson and then also with the Las Vegas Urban League. Let's begin working with the Henderson Library logo on its own in the form of a job ready workshop template. When I click on the thumbnail, it shows me a different size so that I can actually confirm that this is the template that I want to work with. It also shows the general layout and the proportions. My work area is here in the white, it's blank, and so we're going to hit customize to confirm. When I do this, I'm given two pieces of information. One is the template quite a bit larger so that I can actually see what I'm editing. And then also the custom editing box, which is over here on the right. This is very straightforward. What happens here is that my work area is right in between, so I can scroll up and down. This box stays put all the time in its own place. If I hit the more text button, it brings open a box in which I can type things. So I'm going to, for the moment, just all caps type the word test. I can now grab that word test and move it around in my work area over here. Since this box slightly covers that image, I can hit hide the view and bring it over wherever I want to put it. And for now, I'm just going to kind of leave it because at the end actually is when you want to start doing your designing and laying it out. Let's get all the text into the work area. Another thing that you're able to do is change the color. If you come over here, we can make this color more black and it's immediate. And also we can control the size using the minus and the plus T for text. Furthermore, it's just like Microsoft Word, you're able to change boldness italicized or underlined. If you want to add more text, you just hit the more text button again and another box appears. And this is our second text area. Again, grab it, pull it over here, and we can keep adding text as much as we want. This box never grows, but a scroll bar appears here when it finally gets to the point where it can't carry any more text and you can scroll up and down inside of this box in order to continue with the text. Let's try a project together and I'm going to show you a tip here that actually helps a lot to speed the process. I'm going to take the text off of here by hitting the garbage can and then coming up here to this one and hitting the trash can. And now I've got my clean slate one more time. Two tips. The first is if in fact you want to look at the whole flyer at one moment, there's something you can do to change the size of everything you're seeing on the screen. If you're on a PC, hold the control button down and then tap the minus and the imagery on the viewing area gets smaller the viewing area seems to grow revealing more information and every time you tap it you can see that it's a incremental step either up or down that's control minus and control plus on a pc on a mac it is command minus and command plus i'm going to actually probably pull it right to there and then what I do is ahead of time, prepare all the text that I would like on my flyer in a text file, a word file, any type of a file, because it really helps you to prepare your thoughts better when you're just writing it on a piece of paper or into your computer like this, as opposed to trying to design and write all at the same time. It doesn't mean you can't, but it just helps the process uh, quite a bit faster here. So when you're online, you just get the work done that needs to be done here. So what I do is I've got all my text that I want to have on this flyer in this file, and I'm going to come over and start with the title called How to Write a Resume. And I'm going to copy that using standard edit copy tools. There's a variety of different ways. You can go up to here to copy. You can hit uh, Control-C. You can hit Command-C if you're on a Mac. 
And I'm going to start there, and I'm going to come over to the custom text area and hit more text. And instead of typing here, I'm going to hit Command V or Control V if you're on a PC. And that pops the text in there, it's copied. And for now, let's get all the information that we want into the working area before we start worrying about what color, what sizes, and things like that. I'm going to now come down here, and this is my description text of what you can learn in this particular class that I'm teaching. I'm going to paste that in there, like that. And I'm going to come back over here, and there's a date and time. Come over here, I'm going to hit more text. Paste that in. And then I'm going to come back one more time. Grab all the different times and dates. <clears throat> more text. Just paste that in. Now they're all starting to overlap here a little bit, so now I'm going to keep moving it. And I could even scroll down a little bit like this to give myself a little more viewing area. We're almost done. I grab location. back. Here's the location. More text. Now here's an example where the text box now is out of my view so I have to just scroll it down here and there it is. Easy. Put that down here. And the final piece of text. I'm gonna add more text. It's below here because it always adds it to the bottom. I'm going to hit paste and that is my final piece of text that I want in this flyer. And this is generally where I want things but not exactly the way I want it. So now it's really quite simple is that we can start up here at the top, how to write a resume. That's my title. I want that large. So I'm going to make that fairly big and everything comes in in draft blue at first. So that is the draft color. Um, it's not the color maybe that you want at the end of the day but it starts with that color knowing that you're going to be changing everything and that's what I'm going to do next here. So I'm going to start with that, just leave it in draft mode right there. Um, this text here, I'd like that to be um, uh, gray. So I'm going to come down here into the white area so that I create blacks and whites and I don't want it too light but I also don't want it to be like stark black. I just want it just to be a little bit less than that. So right about here, you can see it happening right in front of your eyes. So let's bring that right to about here, like that. And now this has a value. If you check here, and it's very small to read, it's 615 ESE. So you can just highlight that, copy it, and now everywhere the text appears that is that type of text, for example, these dates, I can come over here and touch. I can highlight that, and I can just paste that color in. And then come over here to the library area grab its color area and just write right over that. And down here, I'm going to do the same thing. It's a very quick way just to get everything consistently the same color and not have to work that color bar all the time. With date and time, I'm going to try to make these stand out a little more. I'm going to actually make them uh, almost the same kind of red as the bar by pulling this up. And now I've got that color, so I'm going to copy that the way as we just did. I'm going to go down to location and just paste it. I don't have to pull the bars anymore. Okay. Now I'm going to start lining things up a little bit. This seems to me to, to work here, date and time. Um, they seem awful small and I've got a lot of space to work with here. You know, this is a flyer we want to get people's attention. So let's maybe uh, bring it up by hand like that. Or if we want to be consistent, let's just bring it up in notches. Two, three. There we go. And how about three then? One, two, three. So now they're the same size. And then on how to write a resume, let's bring go up to the top up here, get into the text area with the mouse, and let's make that large like that. And then this text here, that's that could be a little bit larger. Let's take that out just like this, but not off the page. Let's give it a little bit of space in the end. Never go to the edge of the page. And let's bring this down nice and tight on top of it like that. And this text here could probably come up one notch each. And let's find that. There we go. So we'll put Gibson's location right here. 
and the date and the time, and bring that down so they match each other more or less. And then down here, let's make that a little bit bigger because everything else we've pretty much grown. And let's bold it. Let's choose bold. And let's just put it right there. And then let's look at what we've done. Let's use that um, control or command minus to make the viewing area a little larger and, and uh, the imagery a little smaller so that we can see what we're doing here. And I actually tend to like that. That's okay. Um, the next step then is, I'm going to make it back to what we had it, is to come over here to the text area and we like what we have. We're going to hit the download button. It's the only other function that we have in this area. When you click on this, you cannot leave the page. It will automatically redirect you to the next page when it's done. When you click download, what it's doing is it's processing the high resolution PDF in the background. And depending on your internet connection and depending on how much text is on the document itself, this can take anywhere from one minute to five minutes. So I'm going to press download. And the minute I do that, you see some small animation that it's processing. And when it's done, it will automatically redirect. So grab a cup of coffee if you have a slow internet connection or just hang tight and it'll automatically go to the next page. And now we are at the next page. At this page, we click on Next. And this converts the file to a zip file that we can actually download. So we have the PDF now completely made and now we're going to download this PDF. We click on Download PDF and the program automatically takes the file and puts it into your downloads. So if we check our downloads right now, we'll notice that we have a zipped file waiting for us. We just double click it to unzip the file and there our PDF is inside a folder. And if you look at it, it is a high resolution PDF that can be printed. It's also small enough that it can be emailed and it is eight and a half by 11 and full color. Now, for some reason you made a mistake and you look at it at this point and you're disappointed by what you did, you didn't lose everything. You can come back up here and using your browser's back button, back yourself through the process until you get to this screen again. And when you're at this screen, you can make the edits that you want to make and hit the download button again. That's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.